Hi, it's Scott Weaver from Factory Direct Designers Workroom. On my last video, I showed you how to put a grommet into your shade. Um, this is for a front-mounted um, uh, cord, pull cord. Um, this would be for inside mount, so you can raise and lower your shade from the front of the unit, opposed to reaching behind to grab it. And as you can see, in this one, when you flip up the valance, I've got the um, I've got grommets in here, and I've got the strings going to back. And it doesn't matter which system you're using, whether you're using a Rollies, which this one is, or whether you're using a standard clutch. We're going to show you how to mount the shade, mounting it to the back of the board, and then um, we're going to attach our valance and etc. Just like this one. So let's get started. Okay, so this is my head rail, which is made out of uh, pine wood, and I've got it half covered. And the reason why I'm, I have it half covered is because I am adding a balance to it, to the front of the board, along with a piece of contrast welting. And then I'm going to come and take this and fold it down to give this a clean finish to the front of my board. Um, just like the sample one that I have up on the wall right now. Um, that, this is optional, of course, you, you, but you do have to have a balance on it, as described, because since you're putting the cord through the front of the shade so you can lift and lower it from the front of the shade, you need something to cover the mechanism. Uh, that would be your cord clutch, if that's what you're using, or your Rolly system, however you're doing it. Now, as previously stated, this is my shade. I've got the grommets in it. And now I'm going to go ahead and remove the pins from where I put in the grommets. I have the pins in there because when I was punching in uh, the grommets, I didn't want my lining and fabric to shift. However, I'm leaving many pins still at the top of my shade. And I have a line drawn straight across here. It's a light pencil mark. Hopefully you can see it. That is my finished length mark. And I've left my shade longer. I never cut my shade exact because there's going to be a big difference. Well, I can't say a big difference, but there's going to be a difference between this sitting on the table and having a weighted bar at the bottom of it as it does and then putting it up to see and many times you'll notice you might have an a sixteenth or an eighth of or, or, or an eighth difference in length between your between your left side and your right side so um, you may have to adjust it after you put your first few staples in so that's why I leave it longer I mean I don't need this long this much longer but I do like to leave it longer and that's why my, my mark is here so when you're making your shade Make sure you add a few extra inches in there just to play with it. So this is the back of my head rail right here. And that's what I'm going to be attaching my shade to. So I'm going to flip my shade over. So I'm looking at the front of it. And this being the back of it, I'm putting it right on here. And I'm going to be looking for my marks. There is my pencil mark. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here. And that has to go to the very top edge of my board. So from here, it has to go, because that is the finished length of it, so it has to go right to the very top of my board, even right to the very top of it. So that's where I'm going to be stapling it. And it's stapled right on the side. You want to make sure it is even on both ends. One second, I'll show this to you. This is a very crucial part of putting your shade together. So you want to make take your time. Get it exactly lined up with the top edge of your board before you staple it down. Now you can move it. That's why it's a little longer. Just 
Excuse me one second. Sorry about that. I turned my 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 tank down, my air tank down, because the last thing I used it was to blow up my sprinkler system. And that only takes about 30 pounds, and this this gun takes a good 60 pounds, so I didn't have the pressure. That's a little better. The other thing that I like to do is I like to put a few staples on this side and then go to the other end and make sure it's good in the width of it. To show you what that looks like, whoops, down here, there's my line right here, and it's going right along the top edge of this board right here. That is where I am putting it. Now at this point I'm going to stop, and I'm going to hang it up, because I have brackets on the wall. Now if this is for yourself, I would suggest you find a place that you either clamp it to, or if it's going inside your own window, screw it in there. Um, even if you're just looking at the back side and check your length to make sure that it's right. So at this point before I go any further I'm going to check the left and right and make sure I have my, my right length so I'll be right back. <laughs> 